Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, today we will take a look at the Canadian dollar. Well, our setup on the euro currency um, didn't work, so uh, it probably will be not quite correct to say that it has failed, because mostly we were ready for additional risks that it has carried, and uh, this just, it didn't work. That's in fact all, because market yesterday has erased the grabbers at the end of the session, uh, before the European Central Bank meeting, so uh, the last opportunity for the euro currency in the short term perspective to reestablish the upward direction has failed, and that's why the situation mostly looks bearish on the euro currency. And I will not be surprised the market will drop to the 1 or 8 area, but currently, guys, it's better to stay aside from taking any action because it's, uh, it's also the question of what Draghi will say uh, later in the session today. Uh, and I think, and I think that's better to stay aside for a couple of sessions till the end of the week, and then we will take again, take a look again on euro currency and see what what will change. In general, as I said yesterday, the euro currency uh, is not. We have talked on it not because it provides some really very interesting setup or something really interesting. We just take a look at the habit to take a look at the euro currency and just to finalize our. Uh, uh, analysis around uh, the flag pattern and what's really was happening there around this consolidation on the euro currency and, uh, and yesterday the situation has been completed. Right now we just need to wait and see what will change as a result of the European Central Bank meeting and what Draghi will say and what we will see at the next week. That's why uh, today we will take a look at the Canadian dollar because it also shows significant progress and mostly and almost uh, has reached the target that we have specified in the weekend, in our weekly research. I just remind you that the foundation, the uh, context for trading uh, is and was uh, the bullish brand body trade on the weekly chart. I even could show you. It's not what was just the brand body, but it also was the stretch pattern. So you can see market has one, two, three close below the three by three. And it has hit the major 3 8 support. That is set up for a brand body. And we said the market should move up. Also, this is the stretch patient because this is the combination of the day of the weekly oversold and fib level. And as you can see, market has turned to the upper direction. The minor target, the minimum target of this pattern is the 618 resistance of the whole backward action against the against the thrust. So the target of this brand body stands in 132.17, 132.15 area. It's right here. Also, guys, take a look that this will be daily overbought, and we could take right now and, and get right now uh, the bearish stretch pattern instead. Uh, but the deal mostly stands not even in the brand body trade, but in this retracement, because our long-term analysis suggests that retracement down probably will be stronger and deeper, and uh, this upper direction for us is the chance for taking the short position at relatively safe level. And you can see this combination of the FIB level and the daily overbought creates the perfect opportunity for trying to take the short position. This will be relatively safe and you will be, will be able to place this tight stop. And even if we will become wrong here, market uh, later will reestablish up protection for First reaction probably will be to the downside, just as a respect of this area and just to attempt the market to abandon the daily overbought. And that will let us to move our stop to break even. So this provides us and probably I hope that we will get this chance uh, for taking a relatively safe position to the downside. If we will be right, in this case we could get something of the A, B, C, top, D page from this 1618 retracement to 125 area here. It's very probable. So, um, on the forward time frame chart, you could see the pattern that we also have discussed in our weekly research. Because at that moment, uh, this 
in fact the only patient that we could recognize. Um, nothing else we could suggest here. And this really has happened. So you can see Sparfly has shifted to the head and shoulders. Um, as you can see the neck, neckline a bit drifted a bit lower. So initially we have drawn it as the flat horizon line, but this level was slightly lower. As you can see the neckline takes some slope. Now we have the extension based on the head and shoulders patterns, the A, B, C bottom pattern, it's upward breakout. Market has hit the first destination of 100% extension based on the hand shoulder pattern. The next destination point will be the 3255 area, it's approximately here. But uh, the head and shoulder pattern is not the strict pattern, so when you deal with it, uh, it doesn't it, it, it doesn't uh, mean that market should reach the target pips to pips. Maybe it will stand slightly earlier. That also could happen. Because here, guys, the FIB level stands on the daily chart and daily ever bond. That's why market could, for example, not quite reach the 1618 extension. Usually, when you deal with the hand shoulders, you, you, you apply two way of targets. The first one is the extension based on the head and the shoulder. As you can see, we have two of them, 100% and 1618. Or you apply the classical approach, this distance between the neckline and the bottom of the head, counted in the point of the breakout to the upside. As a rule, it gives the same target as the 1618 extension based on the shoulders. So imagine that if this shoulder was a bit lower, as it should be, to keep the harmony absolutely perfect, in this case, take a look, the 1618 will drift a bit lower and it will coincide with this classical target. It really looks amazing. So, also guys, take a look, this will be the monthly pivot point. That being said, uh, although market already has hit the 100% extension target, it's very probable that it could show another leg up, because here we see some acceleration here. It's another leg up. Maybe it will not reach quite the 3250, but uh, we think that this should hit somewhere around 3215, 3220 area maybe, something around the daily upper bond area. That's what we will be watching for on the Canadian dollar. As soon as this will be hap as, as, as this will happen, and when this will happen, we will turn to searching for the reversal bearish patterns in this area. Maybe it will happen on the hourly chart. Maybe this butterfly will be formed here, for example, if market will retest this neckline and turn to the upside. This could be, for example, some kind of the maybe butterfly 1618 or something of that sort. Who knows how it will happen? Um, and also we'll be searching, we'll search for a chance to take the short position around uh, this 3215 area. 